welcome to today's flex fit class today we're going to be working on hips and that's it lots and lots of hip stuff and we'll be doing some fun um fun things with our hips but mostly active flex exercises that increase the range of motion of your hips um and to work our hips we're going to be calling upon our glute muscles um in particular leg muscles <laughs> inside hip muscles those deep psoas muscles um, our abs as well because it's all kind of connected in that same area so lots of mid-body work um, you'll also feel it in your legs as well today we're going to be starting in a seated position Ooh, cat hairball <laughs> we're going to be starting in a seated position but we're also going to be going on our hips uh, like on our side. So if you know that you feel terrible when you go into your hip on your side, grab a little bit of cushioning for you, make yourself feel comfy. We'll also be going on our back. Um, that'll be to the end of class. So something to look forward to. And um, as always, if you feel like um, I say like, let's do 10 reps and you are struggling, 10 reps seems ridiculous. Just go through as many as you can um, with your own good alignment. Make sure you're able to breathe. Make sure you're paying attention to your personal injuries and also to how your body's feeling today. Maybe you're feeling a little bit sore or maybe you are feeling stiff. Just, you know, don't try to push yourself through exercises that are not working out. I guess that's it. So yeah, today, if you missed that whole thing at the beginning, we're doing our hips today. <laughs> so all sorts of exercises that work on our hips. But let's get started in a comfortable seated position. You can relax your arms wherever you like. Take that imaginary string at the top of your head, attach it to the ceiling, and then lift yourself up out of your waist, long spine. Take two deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And still sitting up tall we're going to imagine that there's a table underneath your chin and you're going to glide your chin forward on that table and then retract the chin back so gliding directly forward and back keeping everything still like you're trying to give me your chin give it to me and then take it back revealing eight thousand chins like a turtle <laughs> make sure you're breathing too you can time it with your breath inhale to reach the chin forward Exhale, the chin back. One more time. We're going to keep it back. And while it's back, we're going to lift the chin up and chin down. Still sitting up tall, breathing. Last one, and then bring your head back to that table. Chin retracted just a little bit, and then bring your head ear <laughs> right and left. Not ear to shoulder yet. We will be doing that in a moment. Just stretching your neck side to side. Keep your shoulders still, relax. Rib cage is soft. You're growing taller with every inhale. Float your head back to center. Now we'll bring our ear to the shoulder. A little bit of a pause as you go right and left, breathing normal. And float your head back to center and use your chin to draw one giant circle. Take it slow. And then reverse that circle. Float your head back to center and take a deep breath. We're going to uncross our legs, recross the other one on top. And then still sitting up tall, you're going to grab onto the knees, just a little bit of pressure with your arms pulling and pushing. We're going to start to draw circles. Lead with your chest. Forward and back. Don't dip your chin into your chest. Keep yourself lifted. Breathe. Again, you can try to time it with your breath. Inhale as you reach yourself forward. Exhale it back. One more circle. And then we'll reverse. 
Inhale forward, exhale back. And only go through your own personal range of motion. Try to keep your knees down onto the floor, or not to the floor, maybe not on the floor, but down. So sometimes like this might be happening. Just keep them still. If you're having trouble doing that, you can take this much slower. Go at your own speed, flow through it, using your breath. Let's take one more. Whew. And then stopping in the center. And just a little bit of a chest motion, front and back. And again, you can inhale forward, exhale back. And then right and left, lifting up out of your waist. And then stop here, still lifting in the center, bring your arms out and hug yourself. Switching the arm that's on top each time. Don't forget to breathe. All right, and then stop here with the arms out, open and close your fists as fast as you can. <laughs> and then we're gonna flip the palms so that they're up. Keep the palms opening, and fingers opening and closing, and we're gonna bend the elbows right and left. Like you're gonna touch your shoulder, but you're not, you're just, Opening and closing your fists as fast as you can. Also breathe. Notice if your rib cage is poofing out, you want to keep your rib cage soft, still lifting up out of your waist. Whew. Step with both arms out, hands to a fist, thumbs on the outside. Circle the forearms and wrists all the way in, keeping your elbows high, breathing normal. <laughs> And then reverse the direction of the circle. And notice this motion that we're making with our arms internally and externally rotating the shoulder here. We're gonna mimic this with our hips a little bit later in class. All right, stopping here, fingertips now to the shoulders, stir your elbows all the way around. Try to remain sitting up tall. You've got that string lifting up out of the top of your head, connecting you to the ceiling so that you do not slouch. Oof, reverse these circles. Excellent. And then stopping here, arms float down, take a deep breath. All right, we're gonna place the soles of our feet onto the floor. And then make sure that your feet and your knees are hip distance and then that your feet are flat onto the floor. Hands will go behind you with palms in, Fingers out to the back. And then we're going to scooch our butt forward. Ooh, that was my knee. <laughs> and then behind you, one at a time, you're gonna bend the elbows. So one at a time, keep your chest lifted like you're trying to put your chest to the sky. Also breathe. And then reverse the circle. So bending the opposite one first. And make sure that you're not going completely like into a hyperflexion back there with those elbows. Make sure you're still keeping them soft, engaging your biceps, pushing down into the floor with your palms and your fingers at the same time. One more circle. Ahead and stop here, scoot your butt back again. This time legs out wide. We're gonna bring the knee toward the midline, right and left. Start to squeeze your glute to press your hip down into the floor. All right, one more time, right and left. Then we're gonna stop here. We've got our right leg bent in front and we're gonna take this left leg and bend it kind of in back. And the right toe maybe lines up with that left heel. Make sure you're sitting on the floor with both of your sits bones directly down. You can have your fingertips out or here. We're gonna squeeze left glute to lift the hip off the floor for eight, seven, inhale, exhale, five, four, relax your shoulders, three, Two, last one, stay and hold. Squeezing your side butt. Take a deep breath in. 
On your exhale, squeeze more also. Belly button to spine. Once all of the air is gone, <laughs> let your hip drop, and then we're gonna take the legs and switch them up. So this time, left leg is in front, and the right leg is back. Maybe the toe matches up with the knee. You're sitting up tall. Both of your sits bones are on the floor. This time it's our right hip. Arms are here or here, whatever is good for you. We're gonna lift that hip by squeezing our glute for eight. <laughs> Seven. This one always needs extra waking up. Six. Inhale. Exhale. Rib cage is soft. Shoulders are relaxed for four. Whew. Three. Two. Last one. Stay. Squeeze your glutes. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Belly button is fine. Squeeze it higher. When the air is gone, drop the hip down, and then we can bring this leg. We'll have the soles of the feet together. Knees fall out to the side. Sit up tall. Maybe you can pull your heels in a little bit closer now that our hips are a little bit more open. Start to lift and lower your knees up and down. Relax the shoulders. Rip cage soft. You've got that string lifting you up to the ceiling, and you're breathing for eight, seven, six, five, maybe faster. Four, three, woo, two, one, we're done. Bring your hands back behind you. Palms in, fingers out to the back. And then touch the knees together and open back up, relax. Touch the knees together, open back up, relax. And that's all we're doing, take your time. Okay, one more time, right and left. All right, let's make our legs into a small V. Make sure you're sitting up tall and then anchor your legs down into the floor by charging the heels down, flexing the toes toward your face and engaging your quad muscles. So legs are down on the floor. You are gonna move independently up from here up. Arms are out to the side. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through your spine even more. And then on your exhale, start to twist right and left. Inhale, exhale. Keep charging your heels down into the floor, engaging your quads. Whew. Start to make this twist smaller and smaller until you come to a complete stop. <laughs> and then place your hands to the center. Keep charging your heels down into the floor and start to draw circles with your chest again. Reaching your chest forward to me, and then retreating it back. Knee circles are only going through whatever range of motion your hips are giving you at this very moment. So if they're little, this is totally fine. Or if you are feeling really good, <laughs> one of those, but just make sure you're not putting your head down. Let's reverse these circles. You can lead with your chest. Like now there's a string, reach, but then it's a wire and it pushes you back. String, wire. String, wire. <laughs> Watch those legs, make sure that they're not going all over the place. You've got them planted down into the floor. You're using your strong leg muscles to keep them there. All right, one more giant circle. Stopping here, shake out your legs, shake them back in front of you. And then we're gonna bend the knees again, making sure the soles of the feet are onto the floor. Legs are hip distance, hands are behind you, palms in, fingers out to the back. We're gonna take this right leg, bend it, place it over the other knee. And then if this feels really terrible, you can feel free to just lower this left leg down a little bit. But if it feels good, bring it as close to your body as possible, and then start a gentle rock, right and left. Relax shoulders, shoulders are away from the ears, so no slouching, breathe. Ooh, my knee. <sighs> a bionic knee. All right, let's stop in here. Extend that leg forward at knee height and then flex and point your toes. If you'd like a challenge, arms out to the side. Keep breathing. Circle your ankle all the way around. 
Now you've got that string attached to the top of your head. Keep growing taller. Reverse your circles. Your left leg is not wandering about. It's nice and still stable. All right, stop with that flexed foot again. Inhale, lift your leg higher. Exhale, float it down. Whoo, and then relax. Take a deep breath. All right, let's try that on the other leg. So now, right leg is standing. We've got our left, bending it, placing the ankle over that knee. And this one might feel a little bit different, so find where you feel comfortable. Hands are behind you, palms and fingers out. Do not slip, stretch it long, and then start a gentle rock, right and left. You can start small, and then gradually make it larger and larger, only if it feels good for your body. So one more rock, right and left. And then stopping in the center. Your right leg is strong. Don't move it. Extend your left leg straight at knee height of the other one. And start your point and flex. Ooh, my ankle. <laughs> if you'd like that challenge, you don't need your arms, but stay lengthened. Rib cage soft, shoulders away from the ears. You're engaging your abs. Let's circle this ankle. Don't let that leg drop. Keep it lifted. You're engaging your quad to lift that leg. Reverse the circle. Check out that right leg. Make sure it's not doing one of these. Make sure it's back where it should be. Stop with a flexed foot. Inhale your left leg up higher. Exhale, float it down. Whew, and then relax. Take a deep breath. All right, we're going on to our hips. So if you feel like you, your hip's going to be uh, a little bit ornery, you can take your mat and kind of just double it up. Um, you can put a cushion underneath your hip, whatever is going to feel good. And so we're going to stack the hips one on top of the other. Knees are bent to like 90 degrees. This elbow is underneath your shoulder. Fingers spread wide, palm onto the floor. Hand goes on your hip. We're going to do lift, kick, <laughs> toes touch, and down. Squeeze your butt, extend, point, and down. Good. So when you extend here, here we go, engage the quad. Straight, point, and down. That's all we're doing. Try not to slouch like this. Keep yourself strong. Whew. Squeeze that glute, and the glute stabilizes it up. Let's do two more. <laughs> Last one. Straighten. All right, now glue the knees together. We're lifting the top ankle for eight. Seven, still squeezing your glute. Six. Five, make sure you're not slouching for four. Three. Two, one. All right, now take that top arm down. We're gonna extend that top leg, flex your foot. Squeeze side butt, kick the heels. Lift your leg for eight, seven. Make sure your knee and your toe are facing knee and not up to the sky. So no external rotation yet. For four, three, staying strong in that shoulder. Two, whoo. And then extend your bottom leg. Externally rotate the top leg from the hip. Point your toes. And then straight leg kicks up and down for eight. Engage your quad. Seven. Engage your glute. Six. Point your toes. Five. <laughs> Stay strong in that shoulder for four. Whew. Three. Almost like you're resisting it closed for two. Ah. One. Excellent. Take a rest. Deep breath. All right, let's go to the other hip. So find yourself on the other side. You can put that cushion down. You can roll up the mat. And then make sure that you are stacked. Hip on top of hip, knee on top of knee. Your elbows right underneath your shoulder. Active palm pressing down into the floor. That forearm is strong. Nothing is wobbling in here. Hand goes to your hip. 
here we go. Our fun choreography. We lift the knee. Oh my gosh. We extend the leg straight. We point the toes together and then we close it up. Here we go. Squeeze. Engage quad to straighten. Point the toe and then back to close. Keep going. That's all we're doing. Find your flow, squeezing your muscles. We're not just putting our leg in space, we're actually stretching it up. Squeeze your glute, keep that squeeze, extend. <laughs> Whew. Remember, nothing like this, you're staying strong. Whew. Feeling that nice external rotation from the hip. And we're not trying to impress anyone, I have to keep reminding myself that because I love to be like, look at me! But, no. <laughs> not trying to impress anyone, just trying to increase my range of motion in a smart, way, safe way for your body. Whew. All right, I guess we've got one more here before we do that internal rotation, my personal favorite, especially on this leg. All right, here we go. Keep those knees together. Separate the top ankle for eight. Seven, squeeze your butt. Six, it's right underneath your thumb. You should feel that working to lift that leg for four. Oh my gosh, three. <laughs> Two, one, and then top arm can come down, extend that top leg straight. We've got our flex, but keep it straight up and down for eight. Like you're trying to slowly like skim the sidewall with your heel. My leg is shaking like mad. <laughs> for four, three, two, <laughs> last one. Ooh, ooh, I externally rotated. Hopefully you did not do that, but I totally did. Now we can externally rotate the top leg from the hip, point the toe, and then straight leg kicks. Here we go. Up and down, squeeze your butt for eight, seven. Again, you're trying to resist it down. Six, five, whoo, for four, knees going into your ear for three, two, Last one, stay strong, woo! And then relax, take a deep breath. All right, then let's keep our legs to this side, but we're gonna roll onto our back hip. So now your booty is facing the front. Your hands are gonna go to the back. We're gonna fan kick right and left. So have straight legs. You're gonna sit up tall. We're gonna roll onto our butt, face the front, Kicking left leg first, and right leg follows, and now we're on the other side. Now we're gonna kick right leg first. Once you reach your max, then left leg comes. And this is all we're doing, right and left. Use your breath. Ooh, keeping your legs straight. Make sure they touch. Go through all the motions. Having fun with it. <laughs> Hips are certainly alive. Remember, we're not just putting our legs in the air. We're like, <laughs> one more time, right and left. Whew. Excellent. And then stopping here, we'll take a rest. You can shake out your legs. <laughs> oh man, I have this whole other sequence. We're gonna do it. All right, so if you get tired during this, feel free to just like lay yourself down. We're gonna have our legs up for a little while. Um, I'm gonna stay propped up like this as much as I can. <laughs> so if you wanna do that too, that would be awesome. But if you're like this, try not to put the shoulders into the ears. You wanna stretch yourself up, but also soften your rib cage. nothing like this as well. So we're gonna focus on legs, I'm gonna face you. We're gonna internally and externally rotate our legs from the hips. So legs are together, you're gonna to point your toes, you're going to internally rotate the legs from the hips, and then externally rotate the legs from the hips. Internally rotate, externally rotate. That's all we're doing. Doot, <laughs> doot, doot. And maybe faster, internal, external, internal, external. Keeping your legs straight. And then we do for four, three, maybe faster, two, <laughs> one. Whew. Excellent. Give yourself a rest. Take a deep breath. 
All right, back to that position. You can either still be on your forearms or feel free to just lay down on the floor, but still engage your abs. Legs go back up. Here we go. All right, you're gonna imagine you have inner thigh glue. So get inner thigh glue going. Inner thighs don't separate if you can help it. <laughs> We're gonna start with our right leg. You're going to externally rotate the leg, draw a circle with your toes, kicking your butt, then you're gonna internally rotate, continuing the circle to come back to the top, where you will, again, externally rotate to draw the circle and internally rotate to come back up. And that's all we're doing with that one leg, keeping your inner thighs glued together. <laughs> your left leg is standing tall. You don't have a bent knee with that one. Let's do one more giant circle. And then we're gonna reverse it. So once I get back to the top, this time we're going to internally rotate, draw the circle outward first. Woo! And then externally rotate, keeping the inner thighs together to come back up. That's all we're doing. <laughs> this feels awesome. Hips are certainly alive. Remember, if you're on your forearms and you're feeling really terrible, <laughs> you can totally lay down on your back and just focus on your legs. Let's do two more. Ooh, take it slow, really draw that circle. Last one. Ah, we'll take a rest after this. <laughs> Come out of it. Take a deep breath. All right, now it's time for our left leg. So back down we go. Either forearms are flat on your back. Both legs are up to the sky. Now our Right leg gets to chill out, it's left leg's turn. So we're going to first externally rotate. Bend your knee as you draw that circle inward. And then inwardly rotate with the hip to come back up. That's all we're doing. Again, inner thighs are glued together. You're making the biggest circle ever that you can. Take it slow and try to breathe. <laughs> Ah. Let's do two more this way. Toes are pointed and that right leg is just standing tall. It's not doing anything. Actually, it's very active. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna reverse. So internally rotate to draw the outward circle first. Kick your butt and then externally rotate the leg from the hip to continue that circle to finish it. Internally rotate. Kick your butt, externally rotate. Or if that's too much to listen to, just be like, I'm making a circle with my toes. Inner thighs are glued together as if someone's wrapped a belt, like right around here, and no one can move you. <laughs> Let's do three more on the side. Whoo, two, last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Excellent. And come out of that. You can shake out your hips if you need to. Take two deep breaths. We got one more for you. It's the super most fun one ever in the world. And then we'll go lie on our back, I promise. <laughs> so back to either your forearms or completely on your back, whatever you like, but legs back up to the sky. We've still got inner thigh glue. Don't move that inner thigh, inner thigh glue. Both legs now will internally rotate. You're gonna draw that circle with both legs. Touch the toes down here, Boop. and then you're going to continue back up to the top. Boop. So just internal rotation, touch on the toes, Boop. kind of like a ping pong game, but like super slow in space. Boop. <laughs> Let's do two more. Oh my gosh. Toot. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your glutes, they'll help. Last one. <laughs> and then you can come into a straddle. If the straddle's feeling good, make it a little bit wider, but only go as wide as you feel comfortable. Flex your feet once again, sit up tall, anchor yourself down to the floor with your quads, and let's do another circle around. Your hips feel a little bit looser at this point. Mine certainly do. <laughs> Still again, leading with your chest all the way around. Let's reverse the direction of the circle. Charge your heels down to the floor. Don't let your legs move around. 
quads are engaged. Whew. Last giant circle. All right, then bring both of your legs together. We'll have our legs out in that pike. Charge your heels down into the floor. Glue your legs together. Legs are straight. Back is straight to start. Arms are out like a zombie. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, curve your spine. Belly button pulls deep toward your spine and slowly roll down. Keep your heels charged down into the floor. Engage quads. <laughs> Don't crash. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Whew. Once your head touches the floor, float your knees into your hands and then circle your hips. <laughs> Sorry, circle your knees all the way around and feel your hips. Yeah, mine feel pretty, pretty loose right now. There's no pops or cracks. If you still feel pops or cracks, that's completely normal. Reverse your circles. All right. And then we're going to stop here with the right knee bent. Allow your left leg to fall down flat onto the mat. We're going to flex that foot. Especially if you can't get that knee to straighten, you're going to charge that heel down to the floor and engage that quad. Interlace your fingers two inches below your right knee and then pull your right knee into your right armpit. So like over to the side and then like back in toward the midline, but don't smush your rib cage. Try to flatten your shoulders onto the floor. And then as you pull your right knee closer, Stretch your left leg down. Take a deep breath. And then take your left hand and place it to the outside of your right knee. Bring your right arm out to the side. Relax your left foot. Take this right leg over to the left. Like you're gonna bring your knee to the floor. Your right hip can come off the floor, but leave your shoulders flat onto the floor. Turn your head all the way to the right. And then take two deep breaths, relaxing the shoulders, using your exhale to maybe find a little bit more twist, gentle pressure with your palm on the outside of that knee. And then roll yourself onto your back again and switch up your legs. So now shooting the right leg down, charging the right heel down to the floor. If the leg's not straight, just really charge it down. If you can straighten it, engage that quad as much as you can. Keep it stable. Interlace your fingers two inches below your left knee and then pull it into your left armpit. But don't roll over with it. Pull it back toward the midline. Just don't crush your poor rib cage. Relax your shoulders onto the floor. And here's our pull and push. So pull on your knee closer to your chest as you charge your right leg down. Take a deep breath. Spinal twist. Take your right hand across on the outside of that left knee. Left arm out to the side. Relax your right foot. Cross your left leg to the right and turn your head to the left. Enjoy for two deep breaths. And then use an exhale to lower yourself completely flat onto your back. Allow your body to fall wherever it likes. Close your eyes for a little bit. And just enjoy your breath as it calms your body down after all that hard work. Allowing your hips to reset. Get that blood flowing back into the hip crease after we just compressed it a little bit. You want to shoot a few big deep exhales into your hips, softening your hips down into the floor, and releasing whatever remaining tension you might feel in your body, using your breath. Don't forget to also thank your body, thank your hips and your glutes. Thank your muscles for being smart to stretch your other muscles keeping your body strong and healthy, and also protecting you from injury. Because the more you can increase the range of motion of your hips, the more your hips are gonna be ready for like accidents, falling. <laughs> you can catch yourself and you won't go beyond your range of motion when you perhaps fall, which is something that I do quite a lot. 
if you're feeling really good in this relaxation, feel free to stay or come back with me in a giant sit up, bringing your legs back together, energizing your legs, charging the heels back down and engaging your quads. Reach your arms up overhead, fingertips together, arms by the ears, open your eyes, inhale. Exhale, giant sit up. <laughs> oh, and a motorcycle. Yay! <laughs> Thanks so much for working out with me today.